When I first heard the news that the suspect was Muslim, like I felt like an intense like sadness. I just I, th I thought you know we were over it. It's an interfaith ceremony, sort of getting all the congregations of various faiths and traditions in Boston together to sort of uh, show our solidarity with the, with the victims. This effort to sort of clarify what Islam really means, uh, who Muslims really are, it's still, it's still ongoing. Thank you for hosting this event. I saw the images of the suspects. I didn't think they would be Muslims. I thought they were like just two white guys. Despite the fact that he's Chechen, I still believe that there has been a significant bias towards the fact that he's Muslim. I don't think him being uh, of Chechen ethnicity is, uh, is extremely significant uh, to the people. I think it was the public's first time probably hearing about Chechnya and they were probably, I guess it was an educational experience for them because now they know that, you know, Muslims are all sorts of people, not just, you know, Arabs. I remember that I wrote a, a tweet saying, I'm really glad that it turns out that the people that were found are white because I was very concerned that people are going to start targeting Muslims and brown people. And someone wrote back to me and said, well, you know, Chechens are Muslims, like these people are Muslim. And I just didn't even think of that. <laughs> My memories of, uh, of this week uh, are probably not going to be focused on necessarily what happened that day, but how you respond as a people. I lived in Detroit after 9-11, and I witnessed firsthand a young Muslim man being beaten. I've seen that happen. And I worry that that will happen here in Boston. Well, I do feel there is a danger for the Muslim community in general now, but I do have a lot of faith in my people, in my people meaning in Bostonian people and American people in general.